Hello everyone, my name is Plasma Muffin, and welcome back to my Hypixel Skyblock tutorial series. This is episode 3, and in this episode I'm going to be preparing for and exploring the deep caverns, as well as getting some minions and uh, explaining how that works. So let's get started. So the first thing I want to actually do is go over to the little forest here and get some wood because I have four sticks and that's it and so I'm gonna need some wood before I can before I go exploring hello by the way you can't actually do this at the start of the game this guy has a special axe this is not this, this isn't normal basically Th this guy's he's end game he's got some special stuff let's also talk to this guy lumberjack Timber, my woodcutting assistant has fallen quite ill. Do you think you could take over for him? Just need you to chop down some logs. If you do, I'll even give you his old axe as a reward. This gold axe I have is better than what he'll give me, but I'll still do this. Skill level up, foraging one. 4% 4 chance to get double logs as well as one extra strength. That's very good. All right got some logs. Let's go talk to him again. Thank you. Take this sweet axe. It's so sweet that it drops apples from logs sometimes. That's not where apples come from, but okay. What was the other thing he said? Getting birch, get birch planks from the park. Yeah, I'm not going to do that just yet. Forging two already. Yeah, it's really easy to get levels early on. Like right now, one level costs 200 XP and I get six per log, but later on it's going to start costing like um, like 10,000, 20,000, even up into the millions. So, right now I just want to get enough wood to last me for my trip. That should be good enough. Let's head back. And here's a little trick. I want to go to the uh, middle of the hub. So if I open my menu, open the fast travel thing, and just left click yeah. on hub, I will just teleport back to the spawn of the hub, which is pretty handy. So now that I have this wood, let's craft it into some planks. There we go. And I also want to go ahead and collect some, uh, some wheat. Now I'm going to be using my pickaxe because it has telekinesis on it, so block and mob drops will go directly into my inventory. So if I mine this with my hand, I just get the wheat and the seeds they just drop on the ground, but if I use the pickaxe, they teleport directly into my inventory. There we go. So as you can see, I've leveled up my collections, my skills, all that stuff. The reason I'm doing this is because uh, seed or uh, wheat is actually relatively valuable early game, so you can actually sell it to NPCs for a decent amount of money, and I'm going to need money for what I'll do next. So, just going to get a bit of this. Oh wow, I've collected a lot already. Farming two, 8% chance to get double crops, nice. Inventory full. Ah, yes, I forgot. It gives you a little notification when your inventory is full. That's interesting. Also kind of annoying sometimes. So, um, let's go ahead and go back to the middle of town and sell all this stuff. And, um, let's actually do it over here. Because we're going to want to talk to these two guys, the Weaponsmith and the Armorsmith, so we can gear up before our trip. Let's see. I'm just gonna, so I'm just going to sell the wheat and the seeds now. 
Seeds sell for half a coin each. Wheat sells for one coin each. There we go. I can sell my ores, but I want to keep them for now. So there's a couple extra weapons we can get here. Um, you can get a normal bow and a normal diamond sword as well as some arrows, but you can also get a wither bow, which deals double damage to withers and wither skeletons. But those aren't very common in Skyblock, so there's really no point in getting this. And the normal bow is way cheaper. But for swords, we're going to want some of these special swords. Specifically the undead sword. It costs 100 coins and deals double damage to skeletons, withers, zombies, and zombie pigs. So this actually can be better than this fancy sword for everything that is undead, which is most of the enemies in the game. And I'm also going to want to get some armor. Let's talk to the armor smith so we can get leather armor, iron armor, and enchanted diamond here. <laughs> now this diamond armor is enchanted with growth 1, which gives 15 extra health per piece. So that's pretty nice. I don't know why they bother selling leather or iron here, because... I mean, yeah, this diamond stuff is, is more expensive, but not by much. Like, there's really no... It really doesn't take that long to get enough coins to buy all this. Just make sure I have enough for all of it. I do want to get the full set. So, how much does wood sell for? 80 coins. Is that enough? No. Uh, what about planks? Oof, that's even less. Alright, well, um, let's see. So now I'm going to want to enchant my sword. And I can do that in this library here. This is just spawns right over there. Come down here and turn left and get the library. So you can talk to the librarian. I'm not going to bother reading all that. I know how enchanting works, thank you. Use the enchantment table to enchant. Uh, this is not my first time playing Minecraft. You can actually buy basic enchanted books from here, but I'm just going to be using the table itself. Now, we have a new enchanting system here, and I'm going to be showing that off here. So if I put the undead sword here, I can actually choose what enchantment I want. And some of these enchantments require bookshelves, and the, there are bookshelves here, but they're too far away, and also I think the carpet's in the way, so it doesn't count as having any bookshelves. But I actually want Smite here. Sharpness is good, but Smite is actually better. I can choose which level I get. Oh, that costs 10. Uh. Alright, well, we'll have to enchant this later. But for now, dealing double damage to to uh, undead mobs, is that'll work fine for, for us for now. Can you mine this? You cannot. Just collect a little bit more wheat. I have to stay quiet during the wheat collection because it can get pretty loud. I want to make sure you can actually hear what I'm saying when I'm talking. Alright, that should be enough. Oh my gosh. I hate those spammers. See, look at this. Okay, this guy's like, want to make 5 million coins easily? Party me. You'll notice he capitalized the W. No one does that. If a human being is typing in Minecraft chat, they will not use any capitalization. That means that it's a bot. Also, it's advertising ways to make money, so that's a, another pretty big giveaway. Those people are annoying. But let's just sell this wheat and seeds for now and I can now buy the helmet excellent so now I have by the way the uh, shirts that show here that's actually not accurate that does not show you how much defense you have because there's some armor that's the minecraft item it uses in, in vanilla is leather dyed leather usually but uh, it's actually got higher defense than things like diamond so just ignore this that's not actually accurate what you want to look at is this green number right here it says 103 defense. That's how much defense I actually have. 
You can see my health, my defense, and my mana. Those are what you want to look for. Although the, your heart indicator is a good indicator of how much health you have, at least in terms of percentage. So the more of it, you, so like if my health, if my hearts are down here, it's pretty safe to say I'm low in health. All right, so I got my undead sword, full enchanted diamond armor, I'm ready to go in. Yeah, I don't even know why they bother putting like leather armor and stuff in the game, because it's really just not useful, like at any point. So let's go to the gold mine. Um, another thing is, okay, I'm going to have to turn off, this is actually a bit of a tutorial on uh, how to deal with other players, because you, you will have a bunch of people inviting you to join their party, don't do that, they're just advertising, they, they get a ton of people into a party and then they just spam advertisements at them, like, join my discord for free money or whatever, so, uh, let's see, should be a way... I do not actually see it here. Yeah, I think that's in the actual sky or uh, high pixel settings themselves, not the skyblock settings. So unfortunately, I don't think there is a way to in-game change uh, stuff like that. You can add words to a blacklist where any message that has those words in it will not show up. But um, for now, I'm not going to do that. Let's actually put telekinesis on this sword, because if I get any drops from mobs, I want to be able to automatically pick them up. Now, I need mining level 5 to get to the deep caverns, because right now, if I try and go in there... So it requires mining level 5, it just eats me backwards. Shoots me off the pad. So, let's go ahead and get that, and we can get it... We can mine cobblestone which, oh, my cobblestone collection is at one now, that's nice. So cobblestone gives one mining XP, coal gives five, iron gives apparently five as well. Really? That's kind of odd. I would make it give a different amount, but okay. And looks like, okay, gold gives six. So we're gonna be wanting to focus on ores, especially gold ore. It shouldn't take too long, but um, it may take a couple minutes, so I think what I'm going to do is just stop talking and do a little time lapse, because I haven't actually done very many of those in my videos, but I think it would be a fun, entertaining thing to do for this, so you don't have to just watch me mine uh, the slow way for, I don't know, 10 minutes or however long this takes. So I'll see you when I have mining level 5. Alright, so, I have now got an achievement. I have gone to mining level 5. I've gotten my coal, gold, and iron, as well as cobblestone levels, up to 1, so I can craft the minions. And so now I have all this stuff. You can, you can see that. But most importantly, I now have access to the deep caverns. So let's go ahead and go there. So the deep caverns is where things really pick up in Skyblock. That's where things start to get exciting. So right now we've mostly just been collecting a few little resources at a time, killed a few zombies, but this is this is where things get fun and grindy actually. So now we can teleport over here. Ta-da! Deep caverns. Watch out for mobs. So this. This part of the game is actually where we will first start encountering enemies. And that starts with a gunpowder mine. So the way the the way the uh, deep caverns work is it's kind of like a lasagna. 
It's a bunch of layers. A bunch of levels. Whoop. So the first level contains coal, iron, and gold. And uh, it has creepers in it. Specifically sneaky creepers, which can turn visible. Which is why that one just appeared out of nowhere. Fortunately, the explosions don't destroy blocks. Because that would be pretty messy. Especially with all the players here. So, each level down of the deep caverns has stronger enemies and it also has better rewards oops sorry dude uh, so if I go out, if I actually go back outside real quick then we should be able to see if I go all the way to the edge you can see that the world kind of drops straight down right there the stone just goes straight down. Goes down for a while. There's a lot of there's a lot of cave here. So we're going to be getting stuck apparently. Uh help. <laughs> I did not think this through. Should be a way to parkour back up here. Yeah, in the early game you really don't have much in the way of mobility options. There we go. By the way, coins will sometimes appear on public islands around other players. There's an item that gives them that effect, but we don't need to worry about that right now. So here's the lift operator. Let's talk to him. So basically, what he does is he allows you to fast travel to any level of the deep caverns that you have gotten to previously. He says don't fall down the shaft. It's unfortunately impossible. There's barrier blocks preventing you from doing so, which is pretty boring in my opinion, but whatever. So, um, we can teleport any level that we've actually been to. So, currently we've only been to this one, so we can't do anything about that. And there's actually a cheat you can do, an exploit, where you can, um, you can go, you can unlock all the levels right off the bat, um, without having to actually physically go there. But we don't want to do that because that's boring. We want to actually... Uh, that's one of the things I was talking about optimizing the fun out of the game. Yeah, it's faster, but it's not very fun. And personally, I really like the whole... Uh, come here, you. Oh, nice. That was a lot of damage. I really like the whole idea of basically... Um, you have a bunch of different levels. Each one down is more difficult than the last, and uh, you get better um, you get better gear the further you get down, but there's stronger enemies down there, and it's just fun. So, so like at the beginning of the game, every upgrade you get means you can venture down a little farther into the deep caverns without dying. So now we're in the Lapis Quarry, or at least the beginning of it, and you might have guessed that Lapis spawns here. And if you did guess that, you would be correct. So there is no gold or iron or coal down here. Just lapis. Unlock 10 collections. Nice. So I'm going to be collecting all of this. Well, not all of it. That, that'd be impossible. It actually respawns. But I just want to unlock the collection. Lapis quarry. New zone discovered. The lift operator will now let you travel to the lapis quarry. Access to lapis lazuli ore. Watch out for the zombies. So this is where we'll start to encounter the custom skyblock mobs, which are basically just modified vanilla mobs. So this here is a lapis zombie. They're like normal zombies, except they're stronger and they shoot lasers at you. Let's do a little damage test. So this does 44 damage on crit. This fancy sword, this does 74 damage without a crit. And we're actually going to be wanting to kill a lot of these guys because they will actually drop Lapis Armor. And that's the next upgrade we want from our uh, Enchanted Diamond. Now each piece of Lapis Armor has a very small chance to drop. I don't remember exactly what the chance is. It's like 2% or something. So you have to kill a lot of these, but if you just spend a lot of time in here mining Lapis to get um, experience and stuff, We'll probably end up getting, like in my last playthrough, or, well, recently anyway, I actually managed to get 
full lapis arm without even trying. So, that's pretty neat. So there's some other people in here that are farming for lapis armor. And you can buy it, but again, that's just not as fun. Although, if you've killed a ton of zombies and it's just not dropping, then maybe it will be worth your time to just buy any pieces that you don't have. Especially if you get repeats, because that's just annoying if you ha get like two helmets in a row or something like that. Someone here is high level. These are, I don't know exactly what they are, but I think they're spawned by a really high level and or a player. Player, they're, they're spawned by some kind of really rare and expensive armor set. So I'm just gonna mine a little bit more of this lapis. There's actually a an NPC over here that I want to check out and show you. He has a bit of a quest for me. So here we go, Lapis Miner. Hey you, I broke my pickaxe. If you land me a new pick, I'll give you something useful in return. Okay, this guy. Be careful with him. This guy is not... Okay, so basically what he does is, you right click on him with a pickaxe and he will take it. But, he won't always take the pickaxe you want to give him. So sometimes he'll take your good pickaxe when you're trying to give him a... a uh, a uh, weaker pickaxe instead so I'm actually gonna hold off on doing that because there's some people around here but basically what I usually do in this situation is I empty my inventory except for the pick or I empty my inventory of pickaxes except for the one I want to give him and then I'll give him the pickaxe so let's go ahead and real quick just craft an iron pickaxe for him I don't know if it needs to be iron, but just in case. Oh boy, there's all these people here. Um. Oh, okay, so I actually have access to my ender chest right off the bat. I don't know if that's because of uh, community center upgrades or anything. I, I don't think I've gotten any on this profile, actually. Yeah, I haven't. So, okay, so basically, if you go to your skyblock menu, uh, there's an ender chest here. And if you click on it, you can store items here and they will stay there. You don't have to worry about losing them. So put all your pickaxes that you want to keep in there. Keep the pickaxe you want to, well, keep. Kill any mobs that happen to be harassing you. And right click on him. Thank you, I appreciate your support in these trying times. For your So it's giving me a compactor. This item can be used as a minion upgrade. This will automatically turn materials that a minion produces into their block form. So if I have a coal minion, it'll give me blocks of coal. Diamond minion will give me blocks of diamond, etc. It doesn't work on things that are already in a block form or don't have a block form, such as um, such as cobblestone. It's already a block, so you know, the compactor doesn't actually do anything. And also, kind of missed it, but I have combat two now, which means I deal eight percent more damage to mobs and have. 0.5% more crit chance. Oh, he's low on health. Hello. These guys are really easy for some reason. They're a lot easier than I remember. Probably because last time I hunted Lapis zombies, I had worse internet. Oh, there's the laser. Let's see if I can bait him into doing it again. Come on, laser me. Come on, I dare ya. Come on. Come on. Laser me. No, 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 no. I want him to laser me. No! I'm trying to perform a scientific experiment here. Commoners keep getting in the way. Okay, well, whatever. So, uh, now that we've explored most of the lapis mines, um, now I think it's time to go down and explore the next level. Hello there, sir. If I could get piece of, just one piece of lapis armor in this video, that'd be nice. But it's not mandatory. Just gonna grab some of this real quick. I have a hard time not just grabbing everything I see. Cause I don't know, it just bothers me if I don't pick it up. I see ore and it just bothers me having it sit there and not picking it up. But I've gotta ignore that because we have things to do. So Pigman's Pigmen's then new zone discovered. Careful mining redstone around here. Pigmen. So these guys will not actually attack you by default, these pigmen. They are passive by default, but
But if you attack them or start mining ores, specifically redstone, if you if you mine a, it won't happen if you just mine a lapis ore up there. But um, you will, uh, if you mine any redstone in here, they will all attack you, all of them. So let's go ahead and. Oh goodness, they do a lot of damage. They do a lot of damage. No. Thank you, sir. Okay, well, uh, that was just traumatic. I lost much health, and I'm very low on health right now. But you can actually just traverse all the way down through the bottom of this without any consequences. And in this part, this is the bottom part of the pigman's den, it's generally safe to mine the ores without consequences because all the pigmen spawn up above. And... You can hear them making the angry sounds at me, but none of them actually spawn this far down here. Some will occasionally spawn over there and come over here, but for the time being, I should be safe. As you can see, health regenerates pretty slowly. You don't have to worry about hunger in this game, fortunately, but uh, you do have to worry about your health, obviously. Otherwise, it'd be kind of like creative mode. So I just want to get the redstone collection unlocked. Well, I've unlocked it, but I want to get tier 1 so I can craft the minions. There we go, perfect. Right on time. So now we get to the next level of the mines that is hostile from the outset. And that's a slime hill. So down here, you can find emeralds and slimes. I'm gonna mine as many emeralds as I can that are outside of the main slime hill, because slimes are actually very deadly to beginning players. Like you saw how much damage those pigmen did. The lapis zombies didn't do that much, but the pigmen did quite a bit. Ah! Okay, here we have a slime. Let's fight him. Does 55 damage, 38. Collection unlocked, slime ball, nice. So, um... Getting the collection for that is going to be a little difficult. Let's go ahead and just switch to this sword, because it has lifesteal, or vampirism, or whatever. And it's also just... It does more damage to everything that isn't undead. So now I'm combat 3. Excellent. Just more flat stat increases. Always watch your back down here, because you can get attacked pretty easily. There's also some gargantuan slimes here that are so big you cannot actually melee them unless you're, like, inside them. So they have longer reach than you do, and they can one-hit you. So be very careful around them. I'm not actually going to try and tangle with them just yet. I just want to get some emeralds. Got some cool little ruins here. Some leaves, even. That's neat. This sword does not have telekinesis on it, by the way. Which is why I'm not picking up the gold by default in the slime balls. By the way, uh, emeralds are actually a good way to get experience. You can actually craft lapis directly into bottles of enchanting, but or XP bottles, but emerald ore, when you mine it, drops more than uh, mining lapis ore. Now there's also one more thing I want to showcase before I head back to my island, and that is apparently not accessible here. Pretty sure I can find one safely. Aha, here we go. Okay, so this is a fairy soul. It's a custom player head. Looks all fancy, has little particles around it and everything. And it is also invisible for some weird reason, but you can still see the particles. So fairy souls, you can find them out in the wild in all the public islands, just about. And if you right-click on them, or where they should be appearing. But you've unlocked Lost Soul, find a fairy soul. So every five fairy souls you get, you can actually upgrade your uh, stats. It'll upgrade your pretty much all your stats, I think. Defense, damage, health, um, speed a little bit, I think. I've, got, I've unlocked emerald, right? Yeah, I've got emerald minions. All right, well, I think that's just about enough for here. Is there a fairy soul in here? I don't remember. 
there's a lot of fairy souls in the game and what i would recommend if you try and go for all of them is actually just there's some mods some legal mods you can get that show the location of them like the uh bad lion client um there's also some uh if you go on the wiki you can find all the fairy soul locations there's youtube videos i'm not going to be showing where all the fairy souls are because a lot of other people have done that way better than i would be able to so i'm just gonna collect fairy souls as i go but if you want to collect all of them it's best to be thorough and actually um get them methodically one by one so just whichever ones you happen to stumble across because then trying to find the last one that you haven't collected among the like that you have collected on this island gets difficult because you don't know which ones you've collected and which ones you haven't unless you keep track from the get-go but i'm not going to worry about that also some of them are kind of difficult to get so i usually don't try hard the ferris souls i just get whichever ones i manage to get and whichever ones that i don't find i just ignore because you don't get a huge like if you just miss like 10 fairy souls or something like that it's not a huge problem by the way, that guy flying around me in circles, that was the watchdog thing. Basically what that is, is it's a, it's a little thing that Hypixel does to check if players are hacking. They'll just have a dummy player. Not like, not like a, a stupid one, but like one that's not controlled by a person. They'll have the, it, the player character fly around you in circles, and if it gets hit more than... I, I don't know exactly how it works, but like if it gets hit more than a certain amount of times, or if it gets, um, if it gets, uh, hit when it's behind you or something like that, then it'll trigger, basically it, it detects cheaters, that's all you need to know. It's not really important exactly how it does that. Now I'm thinking I'll actually do the minions in the next episode, because this one's probably gotten kind of long, even with the, the, uh, montages. Let's go ahead and take the slime down and let's show the lift operator. If I can get a moment of peace. There we go. Okay. So before we get killed, let's click on the lift operator and we can go up to the lapis quarry. That te teleports us up here. We can go anywhere here. Now the funny thing is, as soon as you reach a new level, you can teleport to it even if you haven't gotten to the lift on that level. So if I had just gone up there, there's clouds in here. If the deep caverns are so deep, they actually have to start up where the, the clouds are, because otherwise there wouldn't be enough... Um, there wouldn't be enough room for them, because they're more than like 60 blocks or however, however deep the normal Minecraft world is. Hey, you're now Hypixel level 2. Claim your re reward in the lobby. That's not a skyblock thing, that's just a Hypixel thing. Um, but yeah, so if I had just gone down there, I would have unlocked the Lapis Quarry, and I'd be able to teleport down here, despite not having physically come to this location. Let's save this poor AFK player here. I'm a hero! Yay! Alright, I think that's good enough, so let's teleport back to our private island for now. And it has been a while since we have seen this. It's kind of terrible, there's nothing here. But, I'm gonna have to leave you in here for now. In the next episode, I'm going to actually go and um, I'm going to show minions. I would like to have showed it in this episode, but we just ran out of time. Don't want these episodes to be too long. But that was the deep caverns and basically how they work. And um, I have three levels. Nice. A little bit of an intro to enchanting, but Next episode, I'm going to be expanding my island and showing minions and how they work and stuff, and figure out what to do with all this stuff that I have in my inventory. Oh, uh, one more thing, actually. I want to show the bank, because I have 1,362.8 coins. That may not be a lot in the grand scheme of things, but when you're just starting out, it's decent. So if you have coins, the thing is, if you die, you will lose half your coins and teleport back to the spawn of whatever island you're on. Except in dungeons, but that that's a completely different thing that's very late game, and we'll have to get into that much later. But, um, so, 
I would recommend whenever you get over a certain amount of coins, like one or two thousand, you would go to the banker here and deposit them. He's basically saying what I'm saying. But you can also get interest. So every few hours, like roughly every day or so, you'll get a certain amount of interest, which is a small percentage of your money. So let's deposit my coins. Boom. And I get 10 coins for depositing my coins, which is kind of odd, but okay. So I have to deposit twice. But now I have 1.3 thousand coins. So uh, let's look at my interest. So every 13 hours, I'll get 27.5 coins, which is terrible. But that's okay, because I don't really need coins right now. I will need them later, so it is important to... What I would recommend doing is just saving all your coins at the beginning of the game. Hello. Inflatable Jerry. That's a dungeon item. We can't use that yet. Um, I would recommend saving all your coins at the beginning of the game. So you'll have enough for the stuff that you need to buy in the later part of the game. Will you shut up about my inventory? I don't care. I'm well aware of the fact that my inventory is full. Alright, well that's it. That's enough messing around. Thank you for watching. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If it was, please let me know in the comments. And if, you, if it wasn't helpful, or if you have any other kind of comments you would like to leave, please leave them. I love comments. My favorite type of interaction on my channel. Even better than likes and subscriptions. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching, and have a good day. Bye-bye.